Good morning. Um, I posted just normal sketchbooks on my blog yesterday and the people were really interested. I got a lot of good feedback about that. So briefly, because I don't have a lot of these, but just to say that not all sketchbooks have to have blank pages because I sometimes, and I haven't done as much of this as I'd like to actually, um, you can use any book to put your work into or to play with or to doodle in. This is a book I bought in Sweden and I just played with the pages. Um, I did little snippets here. Did a little bit of painting on there, put French knots on the top. But it's just little exercises, more painting, a little bit of doodling. Uh, and here, not really working into the page, but using it as a backdrop, um, using it as somewhere to place your work when you've done it, maybe. I do have one where I've been working into pages, I'll get to that. Um, so just, and it's just a nice, it disturbs what you're putting on as well. Whatever's on the background will disturb what you're putting on there and alter how you see it, how it's perceived. If you can imagine if that was placed on a white background, it would probably look very different to having the other the background here from the printed page. And again, a picture of my work that folds out and a few little more bits of stitching attached to the page. Um, again, the same again, literally just add things in there that interest you at that time. Um, again, a double page. It's just nice. I mean, you might not always have a blank sketchbook, although if you're like me, you'll have hundreds of them. And if you live to be 300 years old, you won't have time to fill them all. Um, but yeah, just use a picture book um, to add things to. I like this and I like getting it out and looking at it. It just alters everything you put on. I mean, really, these are very basic bits of work on paper. Um, but putting them on this page with the Swedish text and the imagery, it really, really alters them. You can have a little play. Same again here. It's very, very basic. Um, here, I don't like this one. I put a zip top thing on there. I don't really like that. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So that's that one. Um, I haven't filled, filled that. And then there's another one here. This was a colouring book children's colouring book um, so that's the first double page spread this is actually a little book I folded loads of its paper here into a little book and the same there uh, press studs with little floral press studs securing little floral shapes over here an edge with curved cutouts and then I've sliced the page there and inserted papers in there um, slipped little circles in there of paper and French knotted them down and then I put some at the back as well can you see that made a hole there put some at the back and then here so if you lift that up there's clothing under there and then just French knots and a little bit of pen work in there so look at your picture books if you've got any right so there's a dress under there so I've stitched things onto the surface of the drawing that was on there and then cut some circles out of a bit of paper and laid that over the top. Um, so yeah. And again I've started this one but I haven't done much more work on that. It's just sometimes if you're working on something, one particular thing for a long time and you just feel like a little bit of a change, um, just pick something like this up and stitch into the page or stick a bit of your work on it. Well not stick it, tie it on. I would prefer to tie it on. And just be free just be free for an hour and play with things like this <coughs> and this one this was a class i did actually uh, stitching a story so pick a storybook and work into the pages in relation to the story <coughs> excuse me so this one this is just picking up colors and shapes from there from there to here and that lifts up okay and then i've also painted on the page as well and then here so she's got a dress and a skirt and a jacket on here so I've made a little skirt that I've put on the page overlapping her actual skirt and then here circles padded circles on paper cut out paper with buttons because she got buttons everywhere on the floor this um Clara button and the magic hat day so she's called Clara button there's buttons everywhere so that I worked into that one here, a little bit of a painted tissue paper covering over and it's stuck with a press stud. I'm not going to try and open it, I'll probably tear it um, over an image that was on there. 
that's from the other side stitched onto there and then here saw the tree so I've done the tree on padded silk and it's got a zipper in it so that you can do that to see what's underneath uh, work into storybooks, into colouring books. Here again, he's got a toga on, so this is my take on a toga. The tree, I painted on the tree and made buttons and put buttons in the tree. The tiger I found quite difficult, I didn't really know what to do with the tiger. So I cut some of his markings out and put little stitch bits in there for texture. And then here, I really like this, probably my favourite bit this. So she's got a really big dress on. So I've made a dress out of thick paper, done some pen work on it and a little bit of stitching and then underneath put a little bit of fabric that securely hooks and eyes and over here I've got a fabric coming out of there and another little dress here covering the hats, yeah? And then I've got some tags hanging off the hats out of the hat box in the shop. So you might be better starting off with a storybook and then the pages will inspire you. That's a big hat. That's my take on the brim of the hat. So, more stitched work there. Another dress here. Can you tell I like doing the dresses? Overlaying the dresses. And here, so here she's wearing, that's a backpack she's got under there. So this is me stitching her a backpack instead of the backpack on the, the page. And here, like Roman columns. So I cut them out, put some stitching behind and put ribbon ties on there. And here I've made a paper Roman column that's tied with ribbons. So get yourself a, <coughs> a children's book or a colouring book or something. And whatever you see, enhance it with stitch that you think fits that particular shape. Um, of whatever's on the page yeah just a quick one there for you